Sagittarius, it's I am 303 High Priestess. This is your reading for January 2021. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun. Let's go ahead and jump in. This is your love reading, okay? We're going to take a look at your energy, which will be at the top. We're going to look at your person's energy at the bottom, okay? We're going to take a look at any messages that Spirit has for you here in the month of January. You're starting off with a hermit card and the ace of swords so i feel like yeah you cut someone off or you're thinking about cutting someone off okay um or you're finding out some truth and this truth is going to be found out on social social media in some type of way okay like something is coming to light or you find out something here okay feels like you're also kind of like cutting people off after that as well let's see what's going on with you here Cap. We're going to take a look at past, present, and future energy. That's how we're going to go. Give me the cards for Capricorn. What's the past energy here? Recent past. There we go. All right. Seven of Pentacles. You're thinking if something is worth your time and you, you apparently decided that it wasn't, okay? Especially with Ace of Swords that we saw in the Hermit card. So the Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, you chose happiness or you chose to be single and be happy, basically. That's what I'm saying here. Um, you felt like the time or attention that you were giving to someone wasn't worth it here, okay? You have the Eight of Wands coming out for your person, what were they doing? We're going to see what they were doing in the past energy here. Oh, okay. And the Ten of Cups for them. Interesting. Past energy going on. What's the Eight of Wands here? I want to see what your person was moving so fast towards here, okay? Is it a new connection, a new love? Does someone have, have a family or do they have someone pregnant okay that's what that this energy is giving me here okay um have uh, someone on the side okay and this person is expecting why is this eight of wands here in this ten of cups in the past energy for capricorn's person okay queen of swords cutthroat that's what the card literally says cutthroat it feels like someone else's energy like someone that they were interested in possibly here okay or this is the energy of your person here but i feel like it's someone else um possibly that they were dealing with in the five of pentacles here i feel like you're so whoever you were dealing with uh it almost feels uh seriously like a secret lover or affair that this person uh ran to or was going to okay um like someone that they had on the side you deserve love here capricorn you are lovable that's your message and they're telling you that there's something better here there was a quick change in in your person's energy here with the eight of wands I feel like they um, may not have wanted to address whatever they were doing behind your back um, and quickly moved on to someone else or this other person because this feels like someone else here. Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups. I wouldn't be surprised if someone is expecting because that's what that energy feels like. We're going to look at the current energy though. Right? I need a card here for my capricorns i feel like in some way you're like up here with this nine of cups just chilling <laughs> chilling all right um yeah that type of energy like you're gonna see how something is gonna play out yeah that's what it is you're waiting for justice to come for what was done to you or hidden from you or done behind your back here you're waiting for karma to be served okay in the meantime you're focused on self basically nine of cups three of pentacles here some decision that decision that you made in the past to release someone with a justice card right now in this current moment here um you're focused on yourself three of pentacles like 
You're not putting any more energy into some situation or some person. You're going to just see how things play out in their life. But I feel like you're not, not focused on them. Two of Swords. Your person has a Two of Swords coming out in the reverse position. What else is here for Capricorn's person? the deck we have the devil card i feel in some uh way here capricorn and the current energy here your person may be watching you here with the hermit card they may be checking you out on social media but it's because they're possibly not doing well currently and with the decision that they made two of swords okay i feel like they are dealing with possibly a lot of uh conflict from a relationship or a person that they chose over you here okay and they're like doubling back looking back at um possibly memories of you too or to see what you're up to right now that's what that feels like capricorn right it almost feels like regret that um regret in some decision that they made this is coming out a lot in readings but there it is okay they have the emperor card here they're going to keep their silence about how they truly feel here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cold heart, defeat, mental abuse, five of swords. There's some regret. This is coming up in a lot of people's readings. Okay. Their person regretting some decision here. But I feel with the emperor card and the hermit card, they're going to kind of keep it to themselves and not let you know that they um, possibly may a wrong choice coming in here let's take a look capricorn they're saying free yourself it's time to take back control of your life and take action you're doing that now baby justice card in the three of pentacles you're already you're already doing that now okay you have the knight of swords and your future energy you're unstoppable here. I feel like you're moving forward uh, with your life and um, not looking back here, okay? And the moon card, <laughs> energy that's coming out here. Mm. What is this here for Capricorn? Let's take a look. I want to clarify this. Okay. You have a hangman coming out as well. It's kind of confusing energy here. I feel like you're just being more cautious in the future in regards to what you involve yourself in, who you involve yourself with. You have the hangman and the empress card coming in. Uh, you're, you're focused on growth, okay? Focus on becoming um, who you want to be here three of pentacles energy here and the empress card i feel like you're deciding not to rush back blindly into love or into a connection here um yeah because it's all about balance with you and fairness with the justice energy coming in you've already experienced uh questionable relationships and you have no interest in moving into that energy here in the future that's what i see here i don't see you like getting back with whoever this is that may be watching you this past person but they still think about you they have the lover's card coming out <laughs> someone's um thinking that they made the wrong choice here okay because lover's card is all about choices they feel like they made the wrong choice okay hmm. stab themselves in the back sabotage their own relationship their own connection ten of swords the lover's card that's coming in. What's going on with Capricorn's person? And the six of swords. The 
six of wands energy that's coming in here okay and the ace of cups is You have honeymoon coming in. I want to see these in success. This is your own success here, Capricorn. In some way, I feel like your your ex person because it feels like an ex person or someone that you just recently left still has feelings for you. Ace of Cups, the lover's card that's coming in, still has feelings for you, but is trying to focus on this new love that they rush into. Um, yeah. They're trying to move on, but they still have feelings for you. I feel like they'll keep those feelings secret in some type of way, but that's that's the secret, okay? That this person still loves you and still thinks about you. Here, I don't see them coming with a new offer. I see them trying to focus on whatever they rushed into or, or whoever they chose, okay? Secretly still wanting a connection with you. Moving in here. That is y'all reading. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. We'll pick up this reading again. See you guys later. Bye.